Hey guys, it's Kate and today I'm going to be doing a review and tutorial slash demo on the new Kylie Cosmetics Born to be Wild eyeshadow palette. So I've actually never tried Kylie Cosmetics before, just their lip glosses and not their eyeshadows. So basically I'm just going to give a really short overview of probably like a minute telling you about the palette, the price, and then I'm just going to jump right into the tutorial. I feel like that's more important. I go into much more detail about each shade and how they work, but I do kind of want to give you my initial opinion. So I have everything on my phone right here. Basically, it retails for $38. Now, I was kind of surprised by this. I felt like that pricing was a little bit high. So the palette is literally beautiful. I This is why I bought it. I just really liked the shades and I feel like I needed to have it for the fall. So basically, it comes with 15 shades total, as you can see. 11 of these shades are matte, while three are more like glitter grit glitters, like actual glitters. And then one is more like a buttery metallic shade. So basically the ones that are more like grit glitters are the red, the gold, and the like whitey gold right there. This other gold is more of a metallic buttery shimmer rather than glitter. Also, I do really like the packaging. It comes with a pretty big mirror and it is magnetic. So, you know, it's not that heavy though. I kind of wish it was a little bit more heavy because I feel like in a way it feels a little bit cheap, especially for $38. I feel like that's a lot of money for just cardboard packaging. Honestly, my overall opinion though is that there's nothing too special about this palette. I mean, we've all seen most of these shades before. None of them are really that unique. Also, a lot of them have significant amounts of fallout and also the glitter shades aren't buttery at all. You definitely need to spray your brush for pigment to show up. So I'm gonna quickly jump into close-up swatches and then we're just gonna go into the tutorial. Okay, so we're first gonna swatch Wild at Heart, which is that like white cream shade. Whoopsie, lots of fallout with these. I'm next gonna swatch Feeling Fine. Yeah, so as you can see, as I swatch, you can definitely start to see all the fallout. The next shade is Roar. Golden Speed, which is that more like a buttery metallic shade I was talking about. Exotic Babe, which is more of like a grit glitter. Can you see all those like grit right there? Now I feel like it's gonna swatch well. Yeah, see, it swatches really well, but honestly, it's really hard to pick up on a brush. The next shade is, I think it's Leoness, which I really like using as a transition shade. This is Cheetah Girl. Lucky Leo, which is the same formula as the other. And the thing is, they swatch really well. Seeing Stripes, which is like a mustard color. Cool Cat, which I do like the color of. Love You Forever, which is definitely the shade with the most fallout out of the palette. Chrome Kitty, which I do like. Okay, I'm back for swatches of the last three shades. This is Heart of a Lion, which I also really like as a transition shade. This is Wild Side, which I never touch, but it feels, I feel like it's a little patchy. And then the black in here, Pretty Panther, I have used. And it's just one of those blacks that when you blend it out, it looks more of like a gray black, like it's not super pigmented. First of all, I do want to mention one of my favorite shades in the palette is called Wild at Heart. It's this like white cream shade right here. It's literally beautiful. And normally there are cream shades in palettes, but the issue with me is that I have really fair skin. So normally they don't show up, but this one's like pigmented white. Like it's, I'll show you, I'll put some under my brow bone. See how white it is? Like it shows up on my skin so well and like I'm pretty pale. So I am just going to kind of lightly put this all over my lid because I kind of like to start with like a lighter base. Now for a transition shade, I'm going to go into the shade Lioness or maybe it's Leoness because is she a Leo? That could make sense. But it's this um matte warm orange shade. So I really do like these types of shades. I'm just going to put this directly in my crease and kind of blend it upwards. But like there's nothing special about it, but I still love these shades in palettes, but you can definitely find others identical to this. I really do like the light matte shades. There isn't too much fallout. They blend out really nice, but still have a lot of pigment, but they aren't like overly pigmented where like, you're like, oh crap, how am I gonna blend this out? So I really like the pigment in these mattes. Now I'm gonna go into the shade Cheetah Girl, which is more of like an orangey shade. As you can see, the shade has a lot of fallout. I also wanna show you, yeah, look how much powder comes off. But what I'm gonna do with this color is focus it more in my crease. I'm going with my MAC 217. It's like a pinched blender brush. So I'm gonna press this. So if you pick up a lot and don't brush it off, it comes off pretty pigmented. Press that in my outer corner. It definitely shows up more orange on the eyes. 
I'm just gonna kind of bring it in a little bit and we're gonna blend this out and now I'm just gonna blend it out with my Sephora Pro crease brush I'm just gonna kind of go back and forth blend that out lightly see the one thing with these shades though is that they do kind of blend away pretty easily but they somewhat hold their pigment somewhat <laughs> Okay, and now I think I'm going to go into a more red shade. This is the shade Feline Fine. I just dipped into it though, and there definitely is some fallout. Now, I'm going to take this on a smaller blender brush. This is my Morphe M562. I literally love this. It's amazing. It's so tiny, but it's perfect because my eyes are pretty small. So what I'm going to do with this is place it, I think, in my outer corner first. And then I'm going to kind of bring it in a little bit more. Kind of like that just about like three quarters of the way and then i'm going to take that mac 217 brush we just used kind of blend out the edges yeah so it definitely blends away like right away that's the thing with these shades they don't hold their pigment on the eye very well but you can definitely like build them up i feel like the red's looking a little patchy and weird right there i don't know what that's about but I'm going to build up that red a little more and just kind of place it in the outer corner. Yeah, I feel like this is having a little bit of trouble sticking on my eye, if you can tell. Okay, and now I'm going to go into the shade Love You Forever, which is that dark brown that has a lot of fallout. I hope you can see all that fallout right there. Now I'm first going to go into my MAC 217 and just press this in the outer V. Because this shade also, I notice blends away. That's the one thing with these mattes. I don't know if it's because they're just so powdery. I mean, when you put them on originally, they seem sort of pigmented, like a 6 out of 10. As you can see, like, it doesn't show up super dark or anything. But this is what happened when I was wearing base makeup. All the other shades had a tiny bit of fallout, but look at this. But I'm going to go in with my Morphe M562 and blend out the edges of this. So yeah, as you can see, immediately it blends away. I mean... They aren't blendable, but the pigment kind of gets lost in there. But yeah, I'm having trouble with this brown. I wouldn't, I don't really like it very much. Okay, because I know we're definitely going to get more fallout, I'm not going to clean that up, but I do want to show you the shade Lucky Leo. That's the red shade right in the middle, the like glittery shade. Can you tell they're kind of like bouncy in a way and kind of like fall apart easily? But I want to show you what it looks like on the eyes without me spraying it. So this is dry. See how it's more of a glitter? And it's not very pigmented at all. It's like a literal glitter. Which is like fine because I get that like the purpose of the eyeshadow, she probably made it with a glitter. But for me personally, I don't really like these types of shadows because I just feel like they aren't very pigmented. I really have to work for a long time with them and then like glitter ends up all over my face. I like more buttery glitter eyeshadows, but once again, it's literally just personal preference. But I did just spray my brush with my setting spray and I'll show you, see how much more pigmented it is with spraying it so i do like it this way but it is you can like feel the chunks when you're putting it on i'm basically just gonna put this all over my lid i want to deepen up the outer v but none of these shades are really dark enough and i don't really want to go in with black okay as you can see when you like really pack it on there it does look super glittery it kind of looks like a pressed pigment when you really stick it on there i just want on my whole lid because i feel like i can't really deepen up the outer corner but i am gonna go in with i think that shade cheetah girl right there that like orange shade we used and i'm gonna take my morphe m562 brush and i think i'm just gonna go along that line to kind of blend it a little bit more but wow okay yeah that's actually kind of really stuck on there i'm not really sure if it's gonna blend too much Okay, so I did my base makeup, but I realized I didn't smoke out the lower lash line. I want to show you guys, so I'm going to take the shade, I think it's Leoness. That shade we used to smoke out our crease, and I'm going to take a cheaper version. I think this is the MAC 217. It's a Sigma E25. Maybe they are similar, but Morphe has one for really cheap. All I'm going to do is just take this shade and go back and forth under my lash line, just to create like a base for other colors to go on top. I think I'm just going to use two colors, though. Now I'm going to take Feline Fine, that matte red shade we used, and I'm going to go in with my Morphe M562, the small blending brush, and I'm going to take this and just focus this on the outer half of my lash line. 
so just the outer half just like that and then I'm gonna go off camera and do my mascara so I go into my covergirl clump crusher on my lower lashes and then my L'Oreal voluminous lash paradise primer and then mascara in black is black okay guys so I'm all zoomed out I have my mascara on my lips I'm wearing the morphe lip gloss in the shade groupie if anyone's curious basically though final thoughts about this palette I mean, it's nothing crazy and new and that exciting. I mean, I'm gonna keep using it for the mattes. I think that's what I mostly enjoy. I like a lot of the transition shades, some of the darker shades, but honestly, the browns were a little bit duddy for me. I felt like when you put the pigment on your eyes, it looks sort of pigmented and then it just kind of blends away. So you have to kind of keep packing on color. But the transition shades, I feel like didn't really lose too much pigment and I enjoyed using those. The glitters, honestly, I don't think I'll ever use again just because they're too gritty for me. They're kind of hard to apply. And even though it looks really pretty on the eyes, I feel like I can achieve the same look with less like working with the shades. Like I feel like I'd keep working with it over and over again to make it look like the way I wanted it to. Whereas with other shades, I don't feel like I have to. Like Makeup Geek has some really good metallic foiled eyeshadows. That's what they're called. And those are amazing. They're buttery and they look just like this, but just less work, less fallout. I prefer those. So I definitely say if you literally love the shades and you just want all the shades in one place and one palette and don't mind dropping $38 on it, go for it. But honestly, it's definitely not a palette that you need to buy. I feel like a lot of these shades you probably already have at home. But thank you guys all so much for watching leave everything down below if you guys have questions about the palette or anything like that don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe and hopefully i'll see you in my next video